Is your RV plumbing leaking? Well, if so, it might be because it was installed incorrectly. In today's video, I'll teach you method one of my three methods for fixing the dreaded pinch clamp on flex tubing RV plumbing connection. If you're new here, my name is Jacob, certified technician, and I go undercover to review RVs. I have both a free and a paid RV shopping course. Plus, I have a tool-free RV maintenance course that will help you avoid some of the most expensive and common repairs. Method one is replace with PEX. In a situation like this where you can see both ends of the tubing the replace with PEX method is the most preferred way to plumb so step one is going to be removing pinch clamps from the fittings that's where you're going to use either a standalone pinch clamp removal tool or this combination tool on the correct setting if you're working in really tight spaces you're going to need these two if it's easy to access everything then you can use this two-in-one tool. So for this one, we turn the dial to number one for installing, for clamping, and to number two for cutting. So on the back side here, open this lock. That allows us to push this block up, and then we can rotate it so the number two is facing the red dot. After we drop that back in place, we lock it like this, and now it's set to remove pinch clamps. We're gonna put this little ear inside of this jaw, just like this. And then we're gonna start clamping. You can see how that just cut right through the clamp. I use pliers to grab and pull, and you can see how it just stretches out and removes the pinch clamp. Step two is we have to get the flex tubing off of the fitting underneath so we can put a new piece of PEX on the fitting. With flexible hose, you can simply bend, and there we have it. Now because this has been corroding for a while, I'm gonna take a small stainless steel brush, just brush off corrosion. All the tools you see me use, I'll have in my Amazon store online. I'm brushing off the corrosion to make sure that we have clean brass underneath that will make a watertight seal on the PEX. If you have a bunch of junk in there, there's always a possibility that you'll create a leaky connection. Don't use sandpaper here. Sandpaper will destroy the brass under here such that it won't seal. You wanna use a, either a brass or a stainless steel brush because that'll remove just the corrosion without damaging these little things. Once you have it clean, and smooth. The PEX is going to just slide straight on here. Step three is to cut the PEX tubing to the appropriate length using your razor cutter. You'll want to cut your PEX tubing to fit between the fittings. You simply put it wherever you want on the tubing and then when you squeeze you see how it's just crushing the tube right now? If you grab this and you twist just a little bit, it slides through and makes a very clean cut that this will fit in. What you don't want to do is to use a saw blade to cut through PEX. That will leave all kinds of barbs and trash on the inside that make for an imperfect connection. Step four will be to put your pinch clamps onto the tubing and your fitting in the tubing and crimp it in place using your installation tool. The placement of the pinch clamp matters. You don't want it all the way up against the fitting and you don't want it too far away. You want it about an eighth of an inch between the end of the PEX tubing and the pinch clamp. Let me show you why. The pinch clamp needs to be centered right over the two middle ribs on this fitting. When the fitting is butted all the way up here, like that, and you put it an eighth of an inch away from the end of the tube, it, it makes sure to clamp directly over these two center ribs. All right, now let me show you how to, we're gonna do the clamping. The reason I like this tool is that it's one-handed operation. You just ratchet and ratchet, and when there's enough pressure, this light will turn on and let you know, and then you can release the jaw by pushing this. What I like about this tool is that it's two in one. It's the cutter and it's the crimper. But what I don't like about it is that the handles come apart so wide here, you can't practically operate it with one hand. You really need two hands. It's longer and harder to fit in tight spaces. So depending on where you're needing to make a repair in your RV, you may be better off with this more expensive tool, in which case you'll need a separate pinch clamp cutter tool like this. If we are doing clamps, we need to make sure that we've set the dial so one is pointing at the red dot. Squeeze all the way, release. We put this here inside the jaw and we start squeezing. It's while I'm crimping this, if you're glad I posted this video, please thank Jim in the comments. He bought my tool-free RV maintenance course and it's people like Jim that make this channel possible. So thanks. Once we get it to click, we'll be able to put the pinch clamp exactly where we want it. You wanna watch what happens inside here as I'm clamping. So you wanna keep going until the tool releases itself and there's no more space in between the stainless steel inside the jaw. Once I've squeezed enough, this will automatically release and our crimp is complete. If there's a space right in here, then the pinch clamp is not tight enough. 
Step five would be to repeat this process on the other end of the PEX tubing. When you're plumbing with PEX, there's a lot of different fittings to choose from. T fittings, straight couplings, elbows, and you just pick whatever fittings you need to get where you're going. In some situations where one end of the tube is above the deck of your RV, like in a fifth wheel, and the other end goes through the floor and down into the cargo bay, it's not real practical to pull the tubing out and replace it with PEX. In that case, you would want to use a different method. Click here for a playlist of all the plumbing repair methods. Click here for a video about the plumbing problem so you know how to identify it in your RV. And then click here if you're shopping RVs and you want to see me dressed up as a Star Wars nerd undercover RV shopping.